Hi all, welcome back to MATLAB tutorial on Tune Fulcrum. This session is on manipulating multidimensional arrays. Elements of multidimensional arrays can be moved around in many ways, similar to vectors and matrices. Reshape, permute, and squeeze are useful functions for rearranging elements. So let's create a 3D array with two pages. So let's say A is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4. Let this be the first page of our 3D array and let it be a 2 cross 2 matrix. So now we are going to create a second page. So A of all row, all column, page 2. So since the first page is a 2 cross 2 array, the second page also has to be of the same dimension. So the elements let it be 12, 13, 14, 15. So we have created a 3D array with two pages. Reshaping a multidimensional array can be useful for performing certain operations or visualizing the data. Use the reshape function to rearrange the elements of a 3D array. The point to be noted here is that when you reshape your existing array, the number of elements should remain the same in both the original array as well as the reshaped array. So here we have in total 8 elements. So when you reshape, you could reshape it to 8 cross 1 or 1 cross 8 or 2 cross 4 or 4 cross 2 etc. The number of elements should remain the same. So let's use a reshape function and reshape a 3D array A. So let's say B be the new reshaped matrix. So we will use the reshape function and we are reshaping the existing array A. And we are going to reshape into, so here we have in total 8 elements. So let's say we are going to reshape it into 2 cross 4. So within square brackets, row size and column size. So this is the output that we get. So we have reshaped our existing 3D array with two pages and two cross two into a new matrix B which has two rows and four columns. So how did we get this output? Let's understand this. So we had our A. The first page was with elements one, two, three, four. This was our first page and in the second page we have 12, 13, 14 and 15. So this A we have reshaped to B. So we have reshaped it as two rows and four columns. So how did this process? This is the first elements. 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is the first page of A. When you reshaped, you got the output as 1, 3, belonging to the first column, then it processed the next column that is 2, 4. Again, onto the next column, you had 12, 14, and then 13 and 15. So it went by page by page. You had two rows and four columns. Reshape operates column-wise, creating the new matrix by taking consecutive elements down each column of A, starting with the first page, then moving to the second page. Let's move on with the next operation, that is permutations. Permutations are used to rearrange the order of the dimensions of an array. So let's consider our 3D array A. Let's use the permute function to interchange the row and column subscripts on each page by specifying the order of dimensions in the second argument. The original rows of A are now columns and the columns are now rows. So how do we do that? Let's say P is equal to 
permute of a comma two one two so permute of a two one two uh, you cannot repeat the permute so let's make this as yes it's returns error so let's make this as 213 so what is our output on the first page we have elements 1 3 2 4 and the second page we have elements 12 14 13 and 15 so our a was so now you could see it has interchanged the rows and columns of a page wise so first page, this was the first column. When you permute it, you could see it became the first row. Same way, second column now became the second row here. On to the second page, the first column became the first row and the second column became the second row. Similarly, interchange the row and page subscripts of A. So how do we do that? We say permute of A comma 3, 2 and 1. If you give this command, you could see the output as the first page of P1 is 1, 2, 12, 13 and second page is 3, 4, 14, 15. That is so the first page of P1 is obtained by taking the first row of A from the first page and the first row from the second page. Same way the second page of P1 is created by taking the second row of the first page of A and the second row of the second page of A. When working with multidimensional arrays, you might encounter one that has an unnecessary dimension of length one. The squeeze function performs another type of manipulation that eliminates dimensions of length one. For example, let's use the repmap function to create a 2 by 3 by 1 by 4 array whose elements are each 5 and whose third dimension has length one. So let's say s is equal to rep mat. The elements are 5, so 5 comma and 2 by 3 by 1 by 4. So if we check the size of s, head returns. 2314 and n terms of s returns the number of dimensions of s that is 4. Now let's use the squeeze function to remove the third dimension resulting in a 3D array. So how do we do that? Let's say T is equal to squares of S. Now if you check the size of T, you could see it has 2, 3, 4, it has removed 1. Now T becomes a 3D array. If we check the number of dimensions, and then of t, it will give you 3. So this is about the few functions that is manipulating the multidimensional arrays. We'll see more of these in the coming sessions. Thank you so much for watching. Please do like, share, comment and subscribe. And please don't forget to tap the bell icon. You'll get notified whenever we upload a new videos. Thank you.